Shalom, shalom, on side Christ. Bless. You're now tuned in to 15 Minutes with the Captain, all right? I'm Captain Gadda to my right. Officer Simon Judah. And today, we're going over, oh, how we love to gossip. That's the topic right there. Oh, how we love to gossip. Y'all know Israel love to gossip. Hell, that's why a majority of y'all stay with haircuts. Just so that you can go to the barber shop and hear all the gossip. That's why y'all go to the nail salons. That's why you get them wigs all the time because you love the gossip. <laughs> Let's get that. Let's get Titus chapter 2 verse 1. Because that, I'm telling you, this right here is heavy in Israel. We love to gossip. Let's see what God feels about that. Titus 2 and 1. Read that. Titus chapter 2, chapter 2 verse 1. Go ahead. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. So, Titus says, speak thou this things which become sound doctrine. So these are the things that we must speak. Read on. That the aged men be sober, grave, temperate, uh -huh. sound in faith, sound in, faith. in charity, in patience. Go ahead. The aged women likewise. The what? The aged women likewise. Now watch what the Lord is speaking through Paul right here. The aged women likewise. Read on. That they be in behavior as becometh holiness. In behavior as becometh holiness. Watch this. Not false accusers. Not false accusers. Not given to much wine. Not given to much wine. Teachers of good things. Teachers of good things. Read on. That they may teach the young women to be sober, to love their husbands, to love their children. Read on. To be discreet. To be discreet. Uh oh. See, we like to read. Uh, not false kids. I don't lie to nobody. <laughs> not giving much wine. I don't drink. Teaches of good things. I teach God's commandments. But are you discreet? Let's get that definition. Watch this. Discreet. Having or showing discernment or good judgment in conduct and especially in speech. Let's get some of that. Get some sin in this thing. Intelligent, mm. judgmatic, prudent. <laughs> the Lord said, "What? Read that part again." That they may <laughs> teach the young women to be so. Oh wait, verse five. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. To be discreet, go ahead. chaste, keepers at home, good. Obedient to their own husband. Go ahead. That the word of God be not blasphemed. That the word of God be not blasphemed. You know what gossip goes against? Being discreet. When you are gossiping, you are going against the order of God telling his daughters to be discreet. Let's look up the definition of gossip. You know, not everybody know what gossip means. Gossip, a person who habitually reveals personal or sensational facts about others. Watch this. Rumor or report of an intimate nature. Let's go to the verb. Go to the verb. To relate gossip. Listen, let's go to some else. It says, tell bearer, gossiper, circulator. Gossip monger. Ooh. You know, some gossip mongers in Israel, I'll tell you that right now. It's a lot of sisters, and, and it's, it's mainly sisters. Brothers really don't gossip. Um, brothers that gossip were raised by their mamas, um, feminine girly boys. But mainly sisters gossip in this truth. They gossip throughout the world. Many sisters, many women are only friends because they gossip. Many sisters get along in the body because they know when I call sister so-and-so, she gonna have the best juice about sister so-and-so. She gonna have the tea. She gonna have the tea. She gonna have the best of the best. <laughs> and her gossip gonna be worth a million dollars. Get uh, Sirach 28 and 13. Because men, men, you know, men, men gossip too. Men gossip too. That's why I, I read it. Uh, Titus 2 and 8 about the men. He says, be sound in speech that cannot be condemned. Young men likewise exhort to be sober-minded. It says, in all things, show thyself a pattern of good works in doctrine, showing incorruptness, gravity, sincerity. So the, the Lord is against men gossiping too. 
But you brothers out there gossiping, you some doggone girly boys. Girly mama boys are what you are. And you're probably the only you're, you're probably the only son in your family. Mm. You probably got five sisters. Read Sirach 28, 13. Ready, ready fight for you. Right. <laughs> Read that. Sirach chapter 28 and verse 13. Go ahead. Curse the whisperer and double tongue. That's what God say. Curse the whisperer and double tongue. God says you cursed. Read on. For such have destroyed many that were at peace. It's many situations that arises throughout the world and in the truth of sisters being at peace with themselves. They happy. They find out they Israel. They, they, they read the scripture. The Lord said you are a new creature in Christ. But the sister demon got to start a gossip. Got to start gossiping. And you now have disrupted this sister that was at peace. You disrupted her spirit. Or you disrupted the brother's spirit to the point where now the brother or the sister, now they even, they doubt with themselves now. Now, now they, their faith, their little faith that they just built by listening through the word of God had just been diminished based off of your gossip. Read that again. Verse 13. Verse 13. Curse the whisperer and double tongue, for such have destroyed many that were at peace. Such has destroyed many that were at peace. That had no problems with nobody. They could actually walk through the doors and be a new creature. Where nobody knows about their past. Nobody knows about the things that they used to dabble in before the Lord chose to wake them up. Now they, now they walk through the door, they're looking over their shoulder. Like, dang, I wonder if everybody knows what's, knows my secrets. Based off of your gossip. Read on. Verse 14, a backbiting tongue hath disquieted many. A backbiting tongue, a tail bearer, hath disquieted many. Read on. And driven them from nation to nation. Mm -hmm. Strong cities have pulled that have it pulled down and overthrown the houses of great men. It says. The backbiting tongue has overthrown the houses of great men. Let's look up what backbiting is. To say mean or spiteful things about a person, such as someone who is not present. <laughs> That's gossip. You are gossiping about things that you heard about somebody when they are not present. We're going to get more, more into that. Keep reading. Verse 16. Verse 16. Whoso hearkeneth unto it, whoso, whoso hearkeneth unto it, shall never find rest and never dwell quietly. Whoso hearkeneth, that means whoso listens to this gossiper will never find rest. It's always going to be issues with this uh, a particular person. Always. Even in the world. Even in the world, majority of the fights in the world are because of he say, she say. I heard you said this about me. I heard you said this about me. All that is gossip. Read on. Verse 17. The stroke of the whip maketh marks in the flesh, but the stroke of the tongue breaketh the bone. You know how they say sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me? That's a lie. God said the stroke of the whip maketh marks. But the stroke of the tongue breaketh bones. That's why the Lord said his word cut. Your words cut people, man. Your actions, what you what you say, cuts people to the point where now they have been disquieted and they've been at peace. Go to uh, 2 Thessalonians 3.11. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 11. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 11. Go ahead. For we hear that there are some which walk among you disorderly. Disorderly. Working not at all, but are busy bodies. The what? Busy bodies. Busy bodies. What verse you at? Verse 11. Go ahead. Verse 12. Now them that are such we command and exhort by our Lord Jesus Christ, uh -huh. that with quietness they work and eat their own bread. Now watch this. We're going to look at the definition of busy body. We're going to look all these words up. Because Israel don't know what that means. Watch this. Let's see what busybody means. Uh, busybody means an officious or inquisitive. You know I'm saying this wrong. 
inquisitive person. That's right. You mean that means you're nosy. <laughs> That's what that means. Sitting an intermeddler. You nosy as hell. Always in everybody's business. You want to know all the secrets. You want to know all the juices of the congregation. Instead of saying, hold on, sis. Nope, that's not the spirit. We're supposed to be doing it right now. The sister will act like nothing's wrong. The brother won't stop it. Read that verse 12 again. Verse 12. Now them that are such we command and exhort by our Lord Jesus Christ that with quietness they work. God says be quiet. Mind your own business. When you are minding your own business, that means that you won't, you won't be worried about anybody else's secrets. Mind your own business. Stop being in the midst of gossip. Go to 1 Peter 4.15. All the gossipers out there. And you know what's crazy? The Lord see that thing, man. The Lord see it. The Lord see it. First Peter 4.15. 1 Peter chapter 4 and verse 15. Go ahead. But let none of you suffer as a murderer. Go ahead. Or as a thief. Uh-huh. Or as an evildoer. Read on. Or as a busybody. As a what? A busybody. God says don't suffer as a busybody. Someone that's in everybody's business. All over the place. You over here. Over here, you know what you're gonna do with all the information you just heard? Spread it, gossip about it. So so and so told me this. So 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 told me this. You're a busybody. Read on. Verse 15. Or as a busybody in other men's matters. In other men's matters. Go to 1 Timothy uh, 5:13. 1 Timothy 5, 13. 1 Timothy 5 and verse 13. Go ahead. 1 Timothy chapter 5 and verse 13. Uh -huh. And withal, they learn to be idle, wandering about from house to house. This is talking about, start at verse 11. Verse 11. 1 First, First Timothy chapter 5 and verse 11. Watch this. But the younger widows refuse, for when they have begun to wax wanting against Christ, Go ahead. they will marry. Watch this. Having damnation because they have cast off their first faith. Cast off their first faith. Read on. And with all, they learn to be idle. Learn to be idle. Now, and you know what? That's why sisters can't, can't quote scriptures. Hmm. That's why a lot of sisters, they don't know what the heck going on with the Bible because they are idle. They're not worried about their foremothers. They're worried about who can they call to get the best juice of gossip. Read on. And with all, they learn to be idle. Go ahead. Wandering about from house to house. From house to house. And not only idle, but tattlers. We know. Also, and busybodies. Busy bodies. We know. Speaking things which they ought not. God says that's a that's an evil thing. You going from house to house. This all I know sisters and brothers go from house to house speaking about things they ought not to know. Being a busybody. A sister gets suspended from the school because that sister did something that was worth a suspicion, right? That's supposed to be out the body. According to the scriptures, Romans 16 was supposed to be applied. Should be applied. Have no fellowship with them. Two months later, another sister gets put out for uh, an act that 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 um Warrants. that warrant her getting suspended. How in the heck how in the heck <laughs> yeah. did that first sister Call the second sister got put out and said, I heard you got put out, sis. You okay? How does that happen? How did they how did she know that? Somebody got somebody being a busybody. Somebody going house to house telling people the school's business when they're not even a part of the school no more. How does that happen? How does people that have been put out of the body, put out of the of is united in Christ, based off of sin that they have committed, how do they know about people's matters in the body? How do they know that? Somebody been a busybody. Somebody gossiping. And the Lord see that thing. The Lord see it, and the Lord gonna reveal it in due time. Get Romans, uh, Proverbs 20 and 3. 
for all you gossipers and busybodies out there. It's time to repent. Proverbs 20 and verse 3. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 3. Read. It is an honor for a man to cease from strife. Go ahead. But every fool will be meddling. Every fool gonna meddle. Every fool gonna meddle in everything. Re uh, go to uh, Proverbs 16, 28. God says you're a fool if you're meddling. Proverbs 16, 28. Proverbs chapter 16 and verse 28. A forward man soweth strife. Go ahead. And a whisperer separated chief friends. A whisperer, a gossiper, separated chief friends. You know what it means? Me and Elvis have never had problems with each other. But uh, uh, here comes a whisperer, a gossiper comes in my ear and says, Hey, you know, uh, I overheard Simon, I overheard Officer Simon Judas saying that he don't like the way you read. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's some evil stuff, man. <laughs> that's some evil stuff. And you know what? That, that's going on in Israel today. That's going on in the world. We can see it ever. It's evident in the world. And that's going on in Israel today. Even amongst the body. Sisters are gossiping. Brothers are gossiping. Sisters are, are meddling. Tail bearing, lying on each other. I don't like so and so, therefore I'm gonna I'm gonna spread a rumor on her. I'm gonna spread a rumor so the whole congregation know about her past, about his past. That's some evil stuff, man. Get Proverbs 17 and 9. Proverbs chapter 17 and verse 9. Go ahead. He that covereth a transgression seeketh love. Read. But he that repeateth a matter separateth very friends. He that repeateth a matter separateth very friends. Y'all know that repeateth the matter going into? Gossip. <laughs> the Lord is all, is, is, the Lord ain't with none of that. The Lord said he that repeateth the matter separateth friends. Separated people that have never had problems with each other. That have always looked at each other as brothers, as sisters. But when you came along, the gossiper of the bunch, now all of a sudden they got beef with each other and you just so happen to now be one of the one of those best friends now. They was best friends together. As soon as you came, now they don't like each other, and now you become best friends with one of the separated. <laughs> it's not a good look. Somebody gossiping. Somebody in the midst of sin. Go to uh Proverbs 2019. Proverbs chapter 20 and verse 19. Come on. He that goeth about as a talebearer revealeth secrets. He that goeth about as a talebearer revealeth secrets. Read on. Therefore meddle not with him that flattereth with lips. With see, his lips. God says, therefore meddle not with him that flattereth with his lips. God says, don't, 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 don't be with them. Don't dwell with them. Because they're liars, they're gossipers, they're meddlers. And it's evil, they're leaven. And that small level will level the whole lump. Go to Psalms 15 and 1. Psalms chapter 15 and verse 1. Go ahead. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall abide in thy tabernacles? Go ahead. Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? Let's see what God's holy hill is. Go to Psalms. Let me get there. Go to Psalms chapter 11 and verse 4. Psalms chapter 11 and verse 4. Go ahead. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord's throne is in heaven. The Lord's throne is where? In heaven. In heaven. Go back to Psalms 15 and 1. Psalms chapter 15 and verse 1. Read. Lord, who shall abide in thy tabernacle? Who shall abide in thy dwelling place, Lord? Who shall dwell in thy holy hill? Who shall dwell in safety? Who shall dwell in the kingdom of heaven? Read on. He that walketh uprightly uh -huh. and worketh righteousness Read. and speaketh the truth in his heart. And speaketh the truth in his heart. Read on. He that backbiteth not with his tongue. He that what? Backbiteth not with his tongue. God says you want to dwell in safety? You want the kingdom? Don't be backbiting with your tongue. Don't be gossiping. Don't be meddling. Don't be tail bearing. God says don't do none of that if you want the kingdom. Read on. He that backbiteth, backbiteth not with his tongue, Read. nor doeth evil to his neighbor. Nor doeth evil. Y'all see how those go hand in hand? Backbiting is doing evil to your neighbor. 
Gossiping is doing evil to your neighbor. Slandering is doing evil to your neighbor. That's why them, them niggers and, and uh, niggets that left and that will continue to leave, they don't understand that a lot of them, majority of them, have done evil to their neighbor. That gossiping, because once they leave here, it's like they become a celebrity on YouTube. Once they leave here, they become a celebrity to vocab alone. And what they do? Oh, Israel United across the hate group. All the leadership is wicked. All of them. How can everybody be wicked? That's some slander stuff, man. That's backbiting. That's tail bearing. All of that gossip that's evil. Read on. Nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor. Nor taketh up a reproach against his neighbor. Go to Ephesians 4.29. So in conclusion of all that, brothers and sisters, those that are within and those that are without, God says we must repent. Gossiping is a sin. And it's so crazy because it's subtle and you don't even notice that you're doing it until you hurt somebody. But you need to realize that it's not right. Meddling is not right. Tailbearing is not right. When you witness that, you rebuke it. When someone trying to bring it to you, you rebuke it. Read. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. God says no corrupt communication comes out of your mouth. If You know what they say? If you ain't got nothing to say nice, don't say nothing at all. <laughs> God says let no corrupt communication. Corrupt communication is communication that will corrupt somebody. That will either cause them to fall, cause them to sin, cause them to transgress. And that's what your gossip does. That's what your tail bearing does. That's what your meddling does. Causes Israel to transgress. Let not corrupt communication come out of your mouth. Read on. But that which is good to the use of edifying. That which is good to the use of edifying. Let's get good real quick. Give me that aromas. Let's get what good is real quick. Romans chapter 7 and verse 12. Go ahead. Wherefore the law is holy and the commandment holy and just and good. And good. Go back to uh, Ephesians 4. So God says, let no corrupt communication come out of your mouth. Read on. That may minister grace unto the hearers. Read it from the top. Yeah, read it from the top. Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 29. Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Go ahead. But that which is good to the use of edifying, that, that, it, go ahead. that it may minister grace unto the hearers. That which is good to the use of edification, that it may deliver grace unto the hearers. So many people hear you talk, they should hear the laws of God. They should hear how the Lord brought you out of the predicament you in. They should hear encouragement. They should hear up, upliftment, up, uplifting words. They should hear how proud you are to be an Israelite. They should hear how happy you are to keep the Sabbath. They should hear how much you care for your people that you would go out of your way to uplift them, to make sure that they're not in a lower state. That's what they should hear. But obviously, in Israel, there's a lot of gossiping going on. It's a lot of metal, a lot of tail bearing going on. God says, let not corrupt communication come out of your mouth. All right. So all praise to the Most High. This has been 15 minutes with the captain and uh, Israel. Stop gossiping, man. Shalom. Shalom. We used to scream Black Power while Haram was pushed, but at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark We on Paul's mission We out on the road Purple and gold From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana Sierra Leone 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are our men repented at heart the scriptures is proof, I-U-I-C, we deliver the truth.